Seb and I are headed south to Arizona, driving through southern Utah and watching all the beautiful fall foliage. We went ahead and we stopped by Penguich and found this awesome mercantile. Of course, Seb had to pop in and see what was there. There was a booth in there that had a bunch of old tools, some milk jugs, a lot of hand tools. I love old saws, old planes, drills, and they had some really nice ones. This would have been used to cut dovetails back in the day and still is. You can still get saws that are shaped like this and designed like that. This is an old hand drill and you can get sockets. You can still, I don't know if you can still get pieces for these. This one was kind of in rough shape. It didn't spin very well. And then this is just a smaller version of that. And I love these old drills. I've got a couple of them myself. This is an old hand plane or bench plane and it's still got the cutting edge on there down on the bottom. And I love the way these things are put together. You can get these because these tools can be restored and still be functional, or they also look cool as, uh, as home decor. Jamie likes to refer to these as mantiques, but I just love the way they look and the way they're put together. Some of these older tools are ingenious. Zeb, say hi. Hey. We're like, how far along do you think we are on our trip? Uh, we still have six hours of driving. Uh, we're not even halfway there. We, in one more hour, we'll be halfway there. We're currently stuck behind this mini Winnie, and they can't decide if they want to drive the speed limit or not. I love driving this way because especially this time of year, the view is gorgeous, but man, Minnie, hurry up, Minnie. Do you want to see what Zeb's been eating? Oh, uh, don't show him that. <laughs> this is trip food. This is, we do have Nutri-Grain bars and um, some, uh, there's some almonds and beef jerky. I feel like that's healthy. Whenever Zeb and I travel, we're always looking for the like best restaurant because it's all about the food. We don't have kids with us, so we just want to eat good food and we don't care if we have to travel out of the way. Yes, I love, it's like a diner's drive-ins and dives experience. Except for unless we have to make like a left turn across busy traffic, Zeb ain't doing that. I don't, well, usually I'm pulling a trailer and you, you try to make me turn left across traffic, you get an angry face. Well, we're not pulling a trailer this time. We stopped at Canal, I can't remember the restaurant, but we got burritos. And Zeb always orders like the same, like I know what he's going to order. In fact, if he's in the restroom, I can order for him because I know what he's going to want every time we go. And I always try to do something a little different. And every time I'm like, dang it, I should just order what Zeb had. And so this time we both ordered carne asada burritos, but I got mine enchilada style and it wasn't red sauce it was like this weird colorado sauce and it was okay but i really should have just got what zeb got my burrito was excellent so the moral of the and story is i ate it in a little tin foil wrap just driving down the road so the moral of the story is if you want good food just order what zeb orders and you think <laughs> after 18 years i'd have that figured out i got my staples Our class at Pinterest went great. Jamie was amazing. She taught really well. It was really easy for people to understand and everyone's candlesticks turned out great. One of the classes that we took while we were at Pinner's conference was Abby Hicks barn quilt class and she taught us how to paint these and she knew all kinds of history and things about all these different shapes and designs. It was pretty awesome. You can find her at Tweedledee. I think she's on Instagram and Facebook. But we really enjoyed her class. Jamie was nice enough that she let me do most of the layout and the design and I was able to do a lot of the painting as well. And then I handed it over to her so that she could do the finish work. She, she blend, we had two colors. We were only supposed to get one, but she snuck in two. And she kind of blended them a little, put some of that gold yellow color in with the teal. And it turned out really cool. We're gonna sand it, and uh, I don't know what Jamie has planned for it, but they put a nice little hook in the back of these so they're easy to hang. There's a lot to see at Pinner's Conference, so I'm not gonna be able to show you everything. I kind of picked out a couple of the cooler booths and just gave you a panoramic just so you can see kind of the venue and see how busy it is. It was a lot of fun. There's a lot of really creative people here doing some really fun things. Of course we're at Pinner's Conference and this is what gets Jamie's attention here. All these leggings. I've lost weight on my leggings.
I took some footage of this because I love a good glamper. I would really enjoy putting together a tiny home. These signs also caught my eye. I've seen them done out of wood but never out of metal and it was cool to see them all rusty and painted there. This booth here had a ton of really cool farmhouse stuff and just some vintage things like these suitcases. I like the wooden crates there and the rolling pins. It just had a bunch of really cool kind of architectural feature things that you could put in your home. This booth was full of mantiques. I don't know where they're finding all of the apothecary cabinets, but all these little drawers, I love little drawers so I could put a bunch of little stuff in there and organize my things and I can never find them. So I need to know these guys source. My sister-in-law Mariah and I got to take this class on hand lettering, which was awesome. We learned a lot of really cool techniques and since Jamie has a hard time with her arthritis doing signs and things, hopefully I can incorporate that and show you guys some cool videos on that. We're back! Back home, it's so nice to be home. I am a homebody. I enjoyed the, the warm Arizona sun, which is funny because I was from Arizona, I don't really like the heat, but I am not looking forward to winter. And Utah has long, cold winter. When you go from like 50 degree, 60 degree days to 97 degrees and dry heat, it felt good. It was hot. I liked it. <laughs> I also liked swimming in the pool. We stayed in a really nice hotel and it had like a big pool. Yeah, if you follow me nice. on Insta stories, you probably saw us in the big hot tub with the waterfall. And uh, yeah, so that was really fun. And my favorite thing about Printer's Conference was a class that I attended and they had, and I don't have any pictures of this, maybe Zell will put one in the end, we'll go on their website and pull it off. But they had like this two tiered tray thing and I didn't make it because I was late to the class. But if you know anywhere where you can source like big pans, like this big around. They look like giant bunt cake tins, yeah, like a pie huge. tin, but and then there was in one a bunt cake shape. I would love to find them. So comment below if you know where to get those. And we'll put a picture. Is that what you put a picture in the end? We'll look it up on Sure, Pinterest. I'll see if we can find it. I'll put it in there. Okay, and then what was your favorite part about Pinner's Conference? <laughs> the short line to the men's restroom, because there was a bunch of women and not very many men, and I never had to wait. What about the VIP lemonades? The VIP lemonades were good. They had other drinks, but I did, don't drink Did you enjoy so. the Tandy candy? <laughs> I should probably put a picture of that in just for you. You didn't even put that in there? I'll put it in. I'll put so it in. the Tandy Leather sponsored Pinner's <laughs> Conference, and the, the Thursday night before it got started, they had a VIP night, and because we were presenters, we got to go, and I got this huge bag full of like swag and stuff, and then they have the Tandy candy, and they're supposed to be these really good looking cowboys with muscles, and I'm like, Zeb, go take a picture, and there he is with his muscle, and Zeb's like flexing next to this guy. Now granted, this guy probably works out more than Zeb, but Zeb's arm is bigger than his, and I'm like, seriously. Stop it. You got the dad bod. Yeah, I got the dad, the dad bod is But strong. your arm's bigger than candy candy, so that counts for something. It's, it's like that 10 pounds of butter on the back. <laughs> <laughs> we always enjoy getting away. Next time we go away, we'll try to have some more videos for you ahead of time, so we don't have like two videos for the whole week. Yeah, we're back on schedule. Yeah, this, this is next video tomorrow. This so. lovely, what is this, an entry table? Entry table, sofa table, something like that. All right, well, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and go check us out at jamierayvintage.com where we've got all of our products. We've got some new fun appliques on there. What else do we have going on? Oh, artwork. Yeah, so we didn't talk about the artwork. We didn't talk about the artwork. Did you include the pictures? I'm gonna put the pictures at the end. We got bored, so we went and got some canvases and <laughs> tried our hand at some art while yep. we were in the hotel. And mine's already on Jamie Ray Vintage on Facebook and on Instagram for sale. So if you see it and you like it, check me out on that social media and message me. I'm happy to sell it to you. Give us a thumbs up. I probably will cut all that out. Okay. I can say what I want because I cut stuff out. You never cut it out. If you guys have been following us over the last week or so, you know that when we were down in Arizona, we went and caught Jamie's nephew Denton. His wedding was over the weekend. If you guys caught our live video on how to do flower arrangements, you can watch my sister-in-law Mariah teach us how to do all of these flower arrangements and they turned out great. These are our canvas paintings. Mariah did a Halloween theme. I painted an old blue barn and Jamie went crazy with her spray technique that she's loving and I think they all look pretty awesome.